Hey guys, it's your boy Mark. Um, had a run over here. Um, you know, I got my contacts throughout the industry. They said, Mark, I have something for you. I'm taping this in December 2023, so I always have to put the caveat. Prices and incentives are subject to change, but I'm gonna try to post this ASAP so you could jump on it. But a four bedroom, two and a half bath in Lithia Springs. I uh, also wanna show you the floor plan in case you like it. Various other communities we could build it for you as well or take advantage of sitting inventory but for my people that like Douglas County that only want to be about 25 minutes to downtown Atlanta um, I really like this one because it's on the cul-de-sac sits up nice and high got a nice driveway uh, the big thing on this one guys again subject to change but if you see this video try to jump on it 4.99% uh, interest rates Rates have currently been in that 7.5 to 8.1% range, so you're gonna save on average about $800 a month on your payment. What I like about this particular one as well is um, there's an easement next door. You kind of see that it has this uh, gated area. This is accessible just for the county as well, but you have some space, right, between you and the next um, house and i'm also you can see down there is a pink ribbon so you have all this like side yard side yard and it sits nice on the on the backyard too so i wanted to show it to you in case you wanted to jump on it um, usually these specials last for just a couple of days um you have to close within 30 days so if you're interested let me know have a nice covered front porch you could put a couple um rocking chairs you can see the landscaping crew for the house next door you can put a couple a bench here as well but a really really nice covered one um we had this in our house too we just switched it out to ceiling fans or lanterns as well so just giving you guys some decorative ideas and then let's walk in there's just something about brand new again if you can afford it there's nothing wrong tons and tons of resales as well that we do but i need to show you when i can because nine times out of 10, people say, I would love a house that nobody else has lived in that has the warranty. It's usually a nice transition for people relocating from out of state. Um, a lot of first time home buyers, a lot of people that have had resales and always wanted their brand new homes. And this payment at the 4.99, you're coming down from like a 35, 36, $3,700 payment, probably to that 27, 2800 range, which is incredible savings. What they call this room is they call it a flex room. You see it has crown molding in it, baseboards, you have redwood floors, which is a floating floor, has beautiful wood grain in it. Um, so it's a flex room for that particular reason. Um, I've had some clients that have built this floor plan. They put a chandelier here, they do an accented wall, and then you have this dramatic dining room uh, when you first come in. I've had other people that said, you know, I just have always wanted, I work from home, so I'm going to build out an amazing built-in unit here, make this an amazing home office, slap a TV up here, have a couple chairs for um, some guests if they come over, and now it's a multifunctional kind of den slash home office. I've had people that have, um, you know, they're musicians, so they have the violins or the grand piano or something like that in here. I've had people that are more like entertainers, right? So they want that social room. They're going to make it like a bar area, cocktail lounge. They're going to put slots along this wall, light it up, make this a wine wall. So lots and lots of flexibility, hence why they call it a flex room. Over here across, you have the outlet. So you could put a console table, lamp, mirror, a piece of artwork. This is where you come in through your uh, two-car garage. See, there's a light in here. And they're about to install the garage door opener, the blinds, the garage door opener have come included. Your uh, hot water heater is out here as well. People come over, guests have a closet for them to hold, hang their jackets, plenty of storage for extra dog food. Um, Boots, sneakers, shoes. You could build out racks in here. It's a nice size too. So if you want to add more shelving, you can as well. Half bath, so your pedestal sink, mirror, light above, and then toilet. Nice space too. Hit it cramped one, right? This is gonna be if you decide not to do the dining room there, 
You could put a chandelier here. You could put a nice long table. With a, this is what they call a kitchenette area. You could also make it, like I said, a formal dining area. We wrap it around here to the right and you can see a very, very nice size um, corner fireplace family room. So you have a window there before you head up the stairs, two windows here. So you can do it mul multiple ways. You could do one of those half moon, um, nice big couches. You can do a nice long couch, oversized chair. You also have this wall to work with too. So if you're more like a media center person, you could, you know, put your whole wall unit here and where I'm standing, you know, do the nice long couch, sectional oversized chair, or you can put your couch along here as well. Love seat and your uh, fireplace there as well. And then you have another wall to work with. So if you wanted to kind of, you have to see a cable outlet. Most people are just going to use the smart TVs now anyway. So you can do it, you know, this way too, where you can put the couch here, an oversized love seat or chair and have your TV on that wall. So three walls to work with however you want to set up the design. Again, they're going to pop in blinds throughout here as well. Kitchen, easily three comfortable bar stools. You could fit four if you're on the thinner side, but I would say three would be comfortable. Love the light coming in here um, in the kitchen area. So you have your sink. So when you're washing your dishes, convenient to have the dishwasher right here. Speaking to people, talking to people, holidays, Sunday dinners. If your kids want to do their homework at the counter, um, you got a great layout here. This is where your refrigerator would go. Most of our clients are getting to LG's, Samsung's. Some are doing KitchenAid, GE. Um, so it just all depends. If you want to keep it in the Whirlpool family, they'll give you the microwave, four burner, gas cooktop. A lot of people like that. The oven, the warming tray, uh, the subway tile, lots of cabinet spaces too. So you can put your Keurig, your little uh, sugar flour bowls, containers there as well. And then they also give you a really nice size uh, pantry as well so you could do more storage for your like, paper towels and stuff your cereals real nice look right now is like those clear uh, canisters where you could put like your lucky charms your rice krispies frosted flakes all your cereals and stuff like that oatmeals and just make it really really nice design of course you could also do um the wood um shelving as well so as i was talking about this a lot let's take a step out back as you can see, they overextended this concrete patio. And like I said, you know, the way it sits too on this corner, you're gonna fence it in all along here. Got on the side as well. Excuse the noise over to the right because they're doing the landscaping. And then this is just like what we were talking about, the easement area. So there's like a gas line that goes um, down there. It's all buried and stuff like that. There's another community back there, but you can see it has the, uh, the gate and then this one has a gate so just a little accessible uh for vehicles for the county um but like i said all you gotta do is um fence it in add some myrtle trees they give you a nice tree here too and then all of a sudden you know you're gonna be able to sit out here put a fire pit you could uh put a covering back here too and you're at the end of a cul-de-sac so really nice and actually pretty quiet too, but they're not doing landscaping next door with all the machines. All right, let's start looking at some bedrooms. Again, you got this window before you head up. Put a nice piece of artwork as you head up the stairs. The knee wall with the peek through window. You can get to the top of the stairs. It's a nice open hallway as well. So, I mean, you could put a nice piece of artwork here. You got a little, you want to put a table with a little lamp because you have an outlet. You can do that as well. Laundry room. They are um, popping in the uh, register or the, uh, so the lint and stuff goes out that way. So they're just wrapping up construction here. Dryer, washing machine, areas for your laundry baskets. It's not going to cost you much if you want to add some uh, cabinets to there as well. 
Bedroom number one, this easily could fit a queen or king size bed. I probably would do a queen. Yeah, probably a queen of two nightstands, dresser, flat screen TV. Um, and then again, here's your views from up here. So you could just imagine, like imagine the fenced in yard. I would do probably a six foot fence. I would maybe cover this back porch or make it into like a sunroom. Overextend my concrete patio, you know, make a little flower garden or vegetable garden in that corner. And then in that corner, you know, do a um, fire pit table. I think that would be, or a fire pit with the Adirondack chairs. That would look really nice. You got a closet. That's gonna be the primary, we'll look at that last. Bedroom two, again, same setup again. All this light, when I'm taping this, I think it's approaching noontime. So you can see the morning and the afternoon, early afternoon gets a lot of light in here. Closet, standard closet, knee wall. I've seen people do like some tea candles or plant shelves here as well. Bedroom number three, I probably would put my bed here. Flat screen TV, I do a stand up dresser, I think. And then I probably do like a little window seat or, uh, no, I wanna do the window seat because you got that closet here. I probably would do just my two nightstands. If you wanted to do like a full bed, you probably could fit like a um, wing back chair over here in the corner. Closet. So these bedrooms along this stretch will have access to double vanity sinks, toilet, tub shower, then a hall closet. Grab your towel, head into the shower. If change your bed sheets, grab them, change them here. You do not have to go up into an attic. I know there's a lot of people sharing. They've seen that video that I posted of the person falling through. Fortunately, mine is up in the attic, but it's really not that bad, in all honesty. But um, some people just get freaked out going into an attic. So this is the area where you change your air filter. Easy for your, you know, you want to get your furnace and air conditioning serviced, getting ready in the springtime for the summer, in the fall, getting ready for the winter. So they'll come up here. You, as your a homeowner, part of your maintenance, you know, change these air filters. They are here. You show, they'll show you during the orientation. I'll keep the airflow and your particles, um, you know, cleaning out the system regularly. So you want to have it maintained, but a great location for it. And then the primary um, bedroom. And it's, as you can see, a very, very nice size. You have, again, what I love about this floor plan is the functionality. You could put your bed between these two windows, put your flat screen TV, build out I'm going to do your couch over here and build out like a little bar area over there. Or are you the person that likes the bedroom the long way? You put a nice king size bed here. You put your love seat at the end or a nice uh, bench, flat screen TV. You could do window seat, a couple chairs. You could do a couch over here if you want to. You have the walk in closet. Turn the light on, which is a nice size. Because again, when you build it out and go all the way to the top, you can light it up over there. And then the primary bath is really, really nice. I love that it has uh, two windows, which are over their front porch. Double van six, nice high gray cabinets. Mirror, two lights, a soaking tub. I see a great piece of artwork here or a nice, um, maybe one or two air shelves where you could put, light some candles, put some washcloths. Something like that. Calgon, take me away. Stand up shower. Um, area for your towels. Again, most people um, I've had uh, actually turn this, convert this into like a small little closet. Like they'll add um, for the barn door. Just have it slide over and then do some wood shelves here and then toilet closet. So if you're interested, get in my DMs, slide into my DMs. Let me know you want me to represent you and I will um, do so free of charge as always for our home buyers. You could always go to greathomesatl.com, hit the begin process button. If you haven't been pre-approved and you want to start the process with us, make sure you follow the process, hit me up and I'll talk to you soon.
Take care.